Lena, come on, what? Jesus freaking gamer here, coming at you with Job chapter five. Eliphaz is still um, telling Job to repent, and he says a lot of good stuff actually. Um, I'm gonna um, just pick a few verses out. Feel free <coughs> to read the entire chapter for yourself. But let me just pick out a few verses here. Because he really does have some decent stuff to say. Uh, I don't know of really any believer who would disagree <clears throat> with the things that he's saying here. Verse 2, for wrath kills a foolish man, and envy slays a simple one. Verse 3, I have seen the foolish taking root, but suddenly I cursed his dwelling place. Verse 4, his sons are far from safety. They are crushed in the gate, and there is no deliverer. You know, and the wicked, they definitely do pay for their crimes and for their ways. Not absolutely always, but you know, think of some of the people who have done things that are illegal. You know, people who have assaulted people, people who have robbed people, um, people who are just, uh, you know, like public drunkenness, public nuisance, things like that. Um, get into a car crash because they were drunk or angry, etc. You know, you, there are people in jail who have done these things. And they're, they are paying for their sins. They're paying for the things they've done wrong. Their sin found them out. And they are suffering. So there's certainly truth in that statement. Going down to verse 8, But as for me, I would seek God, and to God I would commit my cause, who does great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number. He gives rain on the earth and sends waters on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly, and those who mourn are lifted to safety. Verse, go, hop down to verse 17. Behold, happy is the man whom God corrects. Therefore, do not despise the chastening of the Almighty. For he bruises, and, but he binds up. He wounds, but his hands make whole. He shall deliver you in six troubles. Yes, in seven, no evil shall touch you. And all the way down to verse 27, he wraps up his segment for now by saying, Behold, this we have searched out. It is true. Hear it, and know for yourself. And I would not disagree with any of those statements. The, the sinful certainly do pay for their sins. Um, quite, I'd say, probably say more than half the time people pay in this life for the sins they commit. It finds them out. And if you do something good, you are rewarded. You do something decent, um, you get a little bit of success from that. God sees what you're doing, and he will punish accordingly and reward accordingly. I don't disagree with any of that. But in this context, he was completely and totally wrong. Because that was not what was happening with Job. That was not Job's current situation. So everything he said, full of truths, still completely wrong. Sometimes it's really hard to draw the correct line where what is right, what is wrong, and does it apply to this situation? Does it apply to this person that I'm talking to, this circumstance that I'm in right now? Sometimes it's very hard to draw that line accurately and closely. And the only way we can really do that is by being as close to God as possible. And even then, we're going to mess up. Uh, we need, we need a, a little bit more humility as far as being proud of our knowledge, being proud of our truthfulness, being proud of our honesty. We need to be a little bit more humble under those circumstances because we can have so many things right and still, despite being in the truth, we're missing the point altogether. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.